So a couple weeks ago, I went on to Facebook and Instagram and I said, hey, I got an exercise for you guys this week if you're willing to participate and try out. What I want you to do is in your regular day-to-day -day life and everything that you got going on, I want you to make it a point to be kind to others, be nice to others, go out of your way and just do good. If that means helping somebody when it's no benefit to you, if that means complimenting somebody on their haircut or their outfit, if that means reaching out to grandma who you haven't spoken to in a couple months and just checking on her to see how she's doing. What I want you to do is show up this week, go out of your way and just be kind, be positive and have that impact on everyone around you. The exercise that I was talking about was just pra practice kindness. Go out of your way and just be kind. And the idea behind that exercise was after doing that for a week, I guaranteed you that someone in your life, someone around you, that you're practicing that positive attitude around would mention it or say something about it or acknowledge it in some way. So the idea was is if somebody goes out of their way to acknowledge your positivity and your attitude towards the world, and the way that you're showing up, what that means is that you had enough of a positive impact on their well-being for them to mention it, which is a huge thing, especially in today's society. And the point that I made when I charged you guys to do that was, hey, in today's society, being kind and being nice and just being genuinely just a good person and not having a problem with going out of your way for people, a lot of times people don't even know how to respond. And as a man, if you're that way, especially if you do that in any way, shape or form towards a woman, she immediately assumes you're hitting on her. Or if you do that, sometimes people will think that you're being facetious and that you're being a smart ass and they don't take it. And the reason people have that kind of standoffish attitude towards people who behave that way is because it's so uncommon. You always joke around in like the Stepford Wives suburban neighborhoods where you're driving through going on your way to work or you're coming home from work and you see a guy out in his lawn mowing and it's, hey Tim, oh hey it's Josh, I hope, hope you're having a good week man, lawn looks great. That positive, very upbeat vibe that is only seen on TV. That doesn't exist in today's world anymore because so many people are focused on this and they don't care about what's going on around them. The majority of the interaction that they have occurs from behind a screen. And so when they're approached by somebody who's willing to have a positive conversation or go out of their way and be kind or have a positive impact on other people with no benefit or ulterior motive, it's almost like people don't trust that. And once you get past that mistrust and people realize, wow, this guy is legitimately, genuinely just a nice guy. Wow, this is great. They want more. And next thing it becomes like a virus that spreads around your immediate community of all the people that you're directly in contact with, where the vibe that you have and this aura that you have that surrounds you is, wow, everything is like the Lego movie, everything is awesome, right? And the reason is because it's really hard to be negative and just critical and down on yourself if everyone around you is happy. Happiness is, it's contagious. Joy is contagious. And that's the type of light that you want to bring to the world around you. Because I can tell you right now, how many successful role models in the world you see in social media or on just regular media or in Hollywood or, the, or anywhere in the military, how many of those role models do you see are constantly complaining with negative attitudes? Typically the people in any environment who come to the table with that type of attitude on a constant basis are the ones that no one wants to be around. You don't want to be like that person. That person's walking around with a rain cloud over their head constantly. And that is a direct reflection of their well-being. And the only way to change that outlook and to positively impact a person so that they're not that way anymore is to show them what it's like to be happy. And what that does is it teaches them that happiness and kindness and just overall positivity, it's not a state. Like, I'm happy, I'm sad, I'm mad. It's a choice. 
you as a human being, despite your circumstances, despite everything that you're going through, despite all your challenges and obstacles that you're going through in your life, have a choice. And this is coming from somebody who's been diagnosed with depression. This is coming with, from somebody who has PTSD, a disabled veteran who's gone through those types of negative emotions and has underwent extreme emotional challenges. And I'm going to tell you right now from firsthand experience, the number one thing that changed my well-being when it came to my emotional state was the attitude that I had and the way that I showed up in the world. So, when we're talking about this positive attitude, when we're talking about this kindness, the golden rule applies. Do unto those as you wish to be done unto yourself, as treat people how you wish to be treated. If you are the person who's willing to set your pride and set your ego and set your insecurities aside and take that first step towards that positivity and that happiness and that kindness and that just general good attitude, everyone around you is going to reciprocate that. And what happens is, is that's going to lead to more success and that's going to lead to more good things coming your way. So that positive mentality, that positive attitude, that upbeat kindness, just happy to be here way of being directly translates into how successful you are in achieving your goals and doing the things that you want to do in your life.